Operation Buxton Fringe is a go. We have a green light. But, <laughs> I'm already beginning to think right. this Buxton, is a terrible If you don't know idea. what it is, it's like Edinburgh Fringe, but they do yeah. it in Buxton where people go round, they book venues, they perform... A bit of comedy, yeah. maybe uh, there's all other, sorts of things. Yeah, there's all the, sorts Bu of the things. Buxton Festival itself. Yeah. And then there's the Buxton Fringe Festival. Mm. Now, what is the next step, though? We've got an idea on how to bring this to life. But we're now joined by an expert, and that expert is Stephanie Billen, his marketing officer for Buxton Fringe. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Uh, you've got two of us today, uh, so it's going to be, you know, uh, we, we, we don't really know a lot. OK, well, I'm here to help. So we need an idiot's guide. If we were going to put on a show with Andy Twiggs comedy... Ten minutes. ...stylings. Yes. And, and my... Comedy. ...comedy stylings and one-man show thing. Yeah. <sighs> What do we need to do to start? Right. Well, you need to have a show. So do you think that you, say, between you got, say, 20 minutes of one of you and 20 minutes of the other and with an interval in between? Because that sounds like a show if, you, if you've got that much I think we, Yes, we've got that. Yeah, we think yeah, we, we can do that. We think we can do that, Stephanie. Is it, is, is it now time for us to pull our fingers out and get on with this? What, what's the, you know, it, what, it what's really the plan? Is, yeah. It, it is time to do that. If you want to be in the printed programme, and we are going to publish a printed programme this year, then the final deadline for that is April the 17th. So you need to get on, on. to the website. That, hang on. Uh, that's, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's, that's Sunday. That's right. Yeah, really, really soon. Good. OK. Well, that's okay, Stephanie. no panic. But so Stephanie, radio deadline. Um, Stephanie to... I'm not doing it if my name is not in the programme. That is my ego okay. talking. Right, well, you've answered my next question. You definitely want your own show. You don't want to be part of somebody else's. You're going to go for it. So you need, so you've got your show, I imagine, and what you need to do is find a venue. So if you go on to www.buxtonfringe.org.uk and have a look at the Take Part se section, it'll tell you how to enter the Fringe online. But also, crucially, there's a venue list with lots of ideas of um, where you might perform. Now, we have managed venues, and I know the underground is full and the green man is full. The rotunda, which is a geodesic dome that happens in the pavilion gardens, they've not quite finalised their list. But, but don't worry, if, if you, you, can't, you might not um, need to do a managed venue. You could do it independently. You could just hire a venue in the town, and there's lots of opportunities. The Hydro um, Restaurant and Bar in the Springs is a, is a well-established um, comedy venue for us. Um, there's also um, a lot of there's some new ones. Conkai, brand new Thai, Thai restaurant, wants to get involved. There's the old courthouse oh, right. the pub. There's a, there's a long list of, of venues, and it's a question of getting on the phone and and also if you can come to Buxton look round and see where you think it's going to work where and um, there are church halls but see what I know doing. your language might not be up for that um, mm, that might be a little bit tricky I'm not sure we can yeah. get three into a church yeah. um, uh, now I've, I've set the challenge you see because Andy did his first uh, stand up gig in front of a crowd of oh, about 20, 20. 25 eager yeah, people the yeah, other 25, I've like suggested that he really needs to get the full experience of stand up comedy he needs to be in front of at least three figures oh so, you so, said that have you <laughs> so we need some, something over a hundred ok well so the tap house has got was a, a hundred fringe venues tend to be a bit small um so, but the rotunda, you know, if you is, is that's a that's a big capacity. Um, I think you have to get a little bit realistic. You've got a lot of competition in the, in the fringe, and, and um, there are a lot of shows going on at the time. And um, people don't always necessarily expect to get that many people in on a fringe show. Stephanie Billen, don't you <laughs> underestimate the comedic <laughs> talents of Mr. Wesley Mallon and Mr. Andrew Charles Twig with an E. Also, realism and perspective are two things we simply don't do. <laughs> Well, you so, need some blind optimism. That's often um, a very useful thing to have with the fringe. And I'd also suggest you do more than one show because you want to do one show where you get a glowing review and then everyone flops to your second show. Oh, I see. That's how it works, is it? Mm, oh, yes. I These see. are the secrets we needed. 
Yeah, how popular is, is this Buxton Fringe? For anybody that's never been up and visited it, you know, and, and how long has it been going? It's been going over 40 years. It's absolutely massive. Um, we get um, huge numbers of people um, because they're coming at the same... It comes at the same time as the Buxton International Festival, so it's a double whammy, and it's, and it's, it's a, one of the largest arts festivals in England. And, it's, and also what, what often happens is that comedians try out their stuff and then they go up to Edinburgh. You know, we have people like oh. Alistair Al Al Beckett King and, um, you know, Nathan Cassidy, oh, and some very top-level performers, as well as people who are trying out their stuff um, for the first time. So it, it, in like a football analogy, it's like you're having a friendly before the big cup final. That's right, yes, although we do want you to be very professional, both of you. Oh, I'll tell you what, have you, have you not listened to this show? my middle name. <laughs> <laughs> well, I Thank know you. about Triggy's long arms, so, yeah, I have had a little listen, and uh, I like, I'm liking what I'm hearing, yep. Oh, did you, did you check out the video from the tap, yes. though? Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. I did use some some naughty words in it, but um, but maybe I can I can get rid of those. Um, Wesley, I think we need a road trip to Buxton. I think we need a road trip to Buxton. Um, um, expend some shoe leather. Go round some venues. Maybe you could meet us there, Stephanie. Absolutely, yes. And then you can really, you know, show us round, and we'll, you know, we'll let you buy us a drink. Oh, I thought you were going to buy me a drink, but... Uh... Uh, you've not researched me properly, have you? You have not <laughs> researched... Stephanie, I really appreciate your time this morning. Thank you ever so much for coming on. Stephanie Billen there, Marketing Officer for the Buxton Fringe. So it's on then, kiddo. We're on. <laughs> what? We're what on. We what have we done? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's a terrible A hundred people, which is bonkers.